Hi, this is Jeff Jennifer F. Charles 12. Um, I want to do a quick video on my hair goals for 2017. Um, it's like my family did an intervention about me keep cutting my hair. So um, I did agree with them since I've been feeling better um, that I would stop um, cutting my hair, going back natural, going back relaxed. So I finally just decided to stay relaxed since I relaxed it on um, May uh, 11th, um, 2017. Um, I'm just going to stay relaxed because um, every time I go natural, um, I have I become a product junkie. I'm spending $200, $300, $400 every paycheck. And with two kids, I just can't afford to do that. And when I'm relaxed, I just have core products that I use, like the or the organic root stimulator, um, um, replenishing packet, the organic root stimulator, hair mayonnaise, the cream of nature, um, ultra moisture. There's just certain conditioners that I, uh, over the years of being relaxed, that I go to. But since I've, um, you know, haven't been natural since I was a child, um, then I'm not familiar with with natural hair and what my 4C hair likes and everything. So it's like I'm constantly buying products and seeing what my hair likes and it just cost me a lot of money and it's um, damaging to my um, financial situation. And I'm really like, um, I like to budget and, you know, take care of my financial obligations. Like I pay all my bills on time and, um, you know, I don't have any problem with my bills. But when I'm buying all these products and things, then my husband starts to get a, <laughs> have an attitude with me. And, you know, I'm neglecting my other obligations. Like I pay my bills on time. Then with the money I got left, then I'm buying all these, um, these um, hair products. And then I'm neglecting, um, you know, other things that I should be, you know, like putting money in my savings and stuff like that. So that's why I just need to hit it and quit it. So um, for my hair goals for 2017, I'm just, you know, my first goal is to grow my hair back to a pixie. That should take me um, two or this is uh, my first month won't be until um, till June of um, June 11th. And so I'm thinking like um, maybe about three months, I'll have my hair grown back to a pixie. And then my next go after that will be to um, get my hair to a length where I can um, maybe in about four or five months or six months, I'll be able to, I, without getting it cut or going anywhere to get any trims or anything, I'll be able to grow it where it's it's long enough all over where I can do like a curly hairstyle. That'll be my next go. And um, probably at 12 months, I'll have um, like maybe, you know, hair will be like right here at my neck. Because um, my hair grows pretty fast and I take um, hair, skin, and nails vitamin. Um, and I'll be constantly doing, um, I usually wash my hair once a week or every three days. I co-wash. I co-wash twice a week and then I um, shampoo wash once a week. And so, um, and I always deep condition when I wash my hair. If I don't deep condition, my hair don't even feel right. So people that be using regular conditioner, I don't I don't even understand that because if I use a regular conditioner and try and go on, my hair is like, what 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 you doing? Why are you you crazy? You tripping. So like I always have to deep condition every wash. Like 
sometimes I use a uh, light protein, a uh, regular protein, but lately I've been using moisture, like the um, Cream and Nature Ultra, Mo Ultra Moisture, because my hair has really been liking that with the um, weather conditions that we're having. And then I did, um, since I was coming back from the natural hair, my hair was in a kind of um, fragile state. So I did two Afflogy treatments and some of the hair mayonnaise. So now my hair is um, needing a lot of moisture. And now it's, it's at a real soft state. And so I'm just trying to get it moisturized and... I've been using a lot of the, um, I've been using the Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioner and Heat Protectant and the Avocado Oil and the um, Oil Heat Protectant because that usually um, moisturizes my hair. Um, that's what I put in my hair before I blow dry. Um, and I'm, I'm using a blow dryer that's real low. Low heat. I was um, using the the Nairobi, but it seemed like it was it was still leaving my hair a little dry. I guess I just don't like wrapping lotion. Point blank, period. I just don't like wrapping lotion. I like my hair to have a little bit of body and not be um, laying on the hair, and so that's why I like to blow dry my hair with with my blow dryer, Helen of of Troy blow dryer. Cause it's real, it's a real low heat. Um, it's more expensive blow dryer, and it just it doesn't it doesn't fry the hair. It's real gentle, and I, I prefer to um, blow it a little bit, blow my bangs and stuff. I like to really blow dry when my hair is soaking wet, um, so you get a better um, finish. And um, I've learned that from watching other cosmetologists on YouTube. And I blow dry when my hair is soaking wet. I don't even put the towel on my hair. I just let it drip on my towel. And then I put my leave-ins and then everything in. And then, because um, if you let your hair dry before you blow dry it, then you can't get it as smooth. Um, but yeah, I'm just... Um, I have to be patient because it's going to take a while to grow my hair. Um, it's not going to grow overnight because I it's really short now. Um, so I'm, I'm going to give it about three months and then probably by six months I'll have a lot more growth. And then by 12 months it's going to... I'm, I've been thinking about getting braids, but um, sometimes I don't like braids because I'm impatient by... If I leave them in three months, then when I go to take them out, sometimes I cut my hair. And so, because a lot of people say that, like, when you protective style, you end up damaging your hair when you go to take them out. And so, I don't know, especially after the braids I had last time from the um, Africans, I, um, they, you know, since my hair is so short. I think it would take me a while to grow my hair to a point where I could get braids anyway. So, I don't know what the point would be. I don't know. But my hair does grow a lot when it's not being manipulated. Um, but I'll just have to see if maybe when I get to three or four months, maybe I'll have enough hair to um, braid. But the lady that braids them, that does it for a cheaper price... Um, she doesn't braid it tight like um, like when I went to the African Euphoria. It's like a shop that braids them for about 200 and um, they braided them really tight. And I was having some issues with my scalp and my um, hair at the time when I got them braided. So I won't say it was only them. It was just that at the time I was having some scalp and hair problems. Well, anyway, um, comment, rate, and subscribe.